Uh, ever wondered how a seemingly silent condition can significantly affect the heart's function? Today, we delve into the world of endomyocardial fibrosis. This is a disorder primarily located in tropical and subtropical regions. It's characterized by a type of heart disease known as restrictive cardiomyopathy and fibrotic changes in the endocardium a layer that lines the interior of the heart. These changes are usually limited to the cardiac apex, the lower tip of the heart. Interesting, isn't it? Endomyocardial fibrosis is often considered part of a disease spectrum that includes another condition called Loeffler endocarditis. So, we're dealing with a quite fascinating and complex health issue here. But don't fret, we'll unravel it together, one piece at a time. So we've understood that endomyocardial fibrosis is a restrictive cardiomyopathy that brings about fibrotic changes in the heart. But how do we identify it? Diagnosing endomyocardial fibrosis can be a challenge due to its subtle nature. Let's dive into the intricacies of its diagnosis. This condition often progresses through distinct phases, beginning with myocardial inflammation, followed by thrombus formation, and finally, collagenous fibrosis. Despite extensive research, the exact cause of EMF remains a mystery. Various factors are suggested to play a role, including infectious agents, inflammatory responses, and even nutritional elements. Identifying endomyocardial Fibrosis involves understanding its progression and possible causes. Now, let's look at its signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of endomyocardial fibrosis can be elusive. What are these and how do they manifest? Well, this condition is primarily distinguished by poor prognosis. It is associated with deadly and non-deadly irregular heart rhythms or arrhythmias. The disease also brings about fibrotic changes causing reduced heart compliance, essentially making it harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently. Common symptoms may include fatigue, shortness of breath and chest discomfort. These symptoms can be a significant clue towards identifying endomyocardial fibrosis, but where is this disease most prevalent? And they insight, endomyocardial fibrosis is predominantly seen in specific regions. Let's delve into its epidemiology and incidence. This disorder is primarily found in tropical and subtropical regions with a particular concentration in the equatorial belt. Africa, in fact, records the highest prevalence of this condition. The disease, however, is not limited to these areas and has made its presence known globally. The incidence rate, while not clearly defined, is significant enough to warrant attention. It's important to note that the prevalence and patterns of the disease can vary. Some regions have reported a decline in endomyocardial fibrosis cases. This decrease is possibly connected to improvements in healthcare systems and living standards, highlighting the impact of socio-economic factors on the disease's distribution. The epidemiology of endomyocardial fibrosis paints a picture of a disease that, while concentrated in specific areas, has a global reach. The prevalence and incidence of endomyocardial fibrosis provide valuable insights into its global impact. But what about its gender distribution? Does endomyocardial fibrosis affect men and women equally? And what is the survival rate for those diagnosed with this condition? As we delve into the gender distribution of endomyocardial fibrosis, we find that it does not display a significant gender bias. Both men and women in tropical and subtropical regions are equally vulnerable to this head condition. 
Now let's start on cervical radius, unfortunately endomyocardial. Fibrosis is associated with a poor prognosis, fatal and non-fatal arrhythmias along with reduced heart compliance can lead to serious complications. Understanding the gender distribution and survival rate provides a clearer picture of the reach and impact of endomyocardial fibrosis. We've covered a lot of ground today about endomyocardial fibrosis. We've learned that it's a condition primarily seen in tropical and subtropical regions where the inner layers of the heart muscles undergo fibrosis, making the heart's job of pumping blood more challenging. We've discussed how it's diagnosed, its signs and symptoms, and its epidemiology. The incidence rate is highest in equatorial regions, particularly in Africa, and there's no significant gender bias. It's crucial to remember that despite advancements in healthcare, this condition has a significant impact on one's survival rate. Endomyocardial fibrosis is a silent yet significant condition. By understanding it, we're one step closer to fighting it. Stay informed and stay healthy. Like, share, comment and subscribe.